you've probably seen questions, right? Where you only talk in questions. This is questions, and then if somebody loses, it goes to statements only. And then back to questions, and then back to statements. Yeah. It confuses them, it'll confuse you too. Okay, could I get a location where a lot of people might gather? Fair. Well, okay. Where? Fair. Alleyway. An alleyway at the fair. <laughs> Split up, two of you start, and questions. What in the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Where's the corn dogs? What corn dogs? Where's the pretzel rolls? What kind of fair do you think this is? <laughs> Where's the rides? When do you think we're going to have time for rides? Whenever they are there. Why are you asking on this? Wouldn't you like to know? What about the corn dogs? What about the rides? What rides? What about the corn dogs? <laughs> Why do you always make things so fucking complicated? Were you going? Was I going yeah. where? I don't know. <laughs> Statements! Hey. Been, I've been in this alley before. Yeah, you look like you have been. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Have you? Your whole life? Oh, uh, question. Uh, uh, question. Question. <laughs> question. Okay, have you been waiting for me your whole life? Have you been waiting for me? <laughs> Why would I want to wait for you? Why wouldn't you want to wait for me, Tom? How long do I have to wait to understand what our relationship is actually about? How many times do I have to explain our relationship in this dark alley? When are you going to get real with me? When are you going to stop yelling at me? How much more dates do we have to go on before you're willing to commit? How many dates have we been on? <laughs> Are you suffering from memory loss? Are you suffering from toe fungus? <laughs> Where did you hear that? <laughs> Isn't your brother's name Robert? <laughs> How long have you been hanging out with Robert, Cynthia? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Wouldn't any man like to know when his girlfriend is hanging out with his brother? Why do you assume there's something nefarious going on with us hanging out? Have you not read your own biography? <laughs> <laughs> I already have a biography? <laughs> I'm going to call that a statement. Yeah. <laughs> Statements! Tom, I, I told Cynthia about the foot fungus. I, I, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> right about that, guys. Thank God you got me out of that awful relationship. <laughs> I'm here for you. I'm here to do what you need. Are you always going to be here for That's uh, question. Uh, questions. Why is this the dirtiest alleyway I've ever been in? The hell do you care? <laughs> I really don't. Uh, <laughs> statement. Hey, Professor! Oh, hey, student! <laughs> Great to see you at the fair. You want to hang out? Oh. 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 <laughs> Questions? Have you been here long? Isn't that obvious? Is it 2 a.m. yet? Have you uh, tried their fried beer? <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried their beer fries? <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried to make me vomit? I think I'm trying to make you fat. Are you trying to seduce me then? <laughs> Do you think I'm fat? <laughs> Why would you ask me that? <laughs> Are you confused by my question? Were you confused by the answer to it? <laughs> you think they have more beer? Would I be here if they didn't? <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll kick us out to an even darker alley? <laughs> you don't think they do that again, do you? Do you think I should call mom? <laughs> <laughs> don't you remember what we 
you did with her? Last time? <laughs> <laughs> you remember the home, right? Ooh. Is that where it all happened? You know that's where we left her, right? Left her mm. uh, for dead? We can only hope. Hey, <laughs> statements! Hey, 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 my good alley man. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I've never heard such a fancy greeting before. There's a stench in this alley. <laughs> it's pretty popular for alleys. Is it just me? That's a question. <laughs> is going to be for Alan, Derek, Sydney, Madeline, and Ross. We're going to play a game of late for work. So Alan is going to be a uh, somebody that's late for work. So he's going to leave the room. Madeline, Ross, and Sydney are going to be his co-workers. They are going to cover for Alan. They are basically enabling him. Derek is their boss who's threatening to fire Alan. So let's go, Derek. All right, so I need you guys' help. I need to know where these guys are working so they can do some kind of physical activity. McDonald's. You guys are working at McDonald's and make those fries, put those burgers. Okay, so I also need an object. Any object. Frying pan. Spatula. A frying pan. We're going with frying pan. I heard that first. All right, I need some kind of activity that's not associated with frying or frying pan. Dancing. What was that? Hockey. Dancing. Hockey. 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 I heard hockey. All right, so frying pan and hockey. Now I need a location. Uh, just any location. The Leaning Tower Pizza. Oh, what was that? Pizza. Leaning Tower of Pizza. The Leaning Tower of Pizza. All right, so let's review. Frying pan. <laughs> hockey. Leaning Tower of Pisa, okay. not the upright one. Oh, could I just pull up one sec? Uh, when Alan's going to have to guess these things. If he gets close, give him snaps. If he gets right, big round of applause. Yes, thank you. Audience participation. Ready? Ready. Uh, all right, those, those fries look great. Charlene, those look great. Oh, Barbara, oh, you're flipping that burger really great. Oh, uh, uh, you really need to get that soft serve ice cream motion down and score like this. All right, well, you're doing good, Ross. You're doing good. Oh, hey, you guys are missing a buddy. Where's Alan? Oh, I love Alan. Where's he at? No, he's not late again, is he? No, he's here. Yeah, he's no. here. Oh, corporate regulations say if he's late one more time, I have to fire him. No, no, he's, no, out. no, no he's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He sent us a text. He sent us a text. Really? No, he didn't. It yeah. says if it's a really good reason I don't have to fire him, he gets one more chance. It's all on you. What's wrong with him? He was hit with a frying pan. Uh, yes, hit with a frying pan? Yes. I don't think I could sell that to the boss, regional manager Bob. He's awful. I'm nice. During his, more. He's, it was in his hockey league. It's, yeah. they play <laughs> hockey. He was playing hockey. He was, yeah. He, he, he right. just play hockey too? Yeah. Yeah. But a road, Alan's a very interesting person. A road He's frying pan. Also well. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's, we don't I don't feel like that's enough. It's, 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 it's an Italian league. Because he's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Italian. <laughs> the Lean Tower Pizza. Pizza. That's what this he, is. He went to the Lean Tower Pizza? Yeah, for hockey. Oh, for hockey Alan. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That but you yeah, guys, you know, amazing. it's the morning we rush is coming. Let's, let's get to work. No, we yeah. can't lose that game. Yeah. Okay, we'll double up for him, boss. Yeah. All right, oh, thank you. Double up. All right, well, hopefully he's coming in soon. Um, what? I'm here. Oh, I'm here. oh, Alan. I'm so, oh, Alan. Oh, buddy. Come here. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, uh, I was worried about you. You were late. Yeah, I definitely wasn't having a drink. You're going to get, you're gonna get fired. <laughs> you're going to get fired, Alan. I'm so That's, sorry. We oh. Let, but if you have a great excuse, this guy said you were doing something. If you had a good reason I for, was for, for being late. Sort of, uh, you're, you're, what are you looking at over there? Oh, hey, restaurant guys, get to work. Get to work. 
All right. What, what's yeah. going on in your life, Alan? I was cooking some sort of hibachi meal. Like. You're a chef? <laughs> yeah. You're way overqualified to work at McDonald's, man. What are you doing here? I'm going to have to let you go if you don't. I was you're killing a chicken. <laughs> but what? What is it that you're, what? what Over a there? campfire, I was. Oh, 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 I was, uh, I was, um, uh, eggs, cooking eggs. I had breakfast, <laughs> an egg McMuffin or something? I feel like there's an object or something that you're, you're, that caused you to be late. Some sort of egg sandwich. A breakfast <laughs> sandwich, sandwich, breakfast, that would be a late. A breakfast burrito. A breakfast burrito. No, Alan, Alan, you're going to get tossed out of McDonald's. I was just born Blackboard. yesterday. Yeah? You're just, you're, you're going through conception or? <laughs> Alan! And egg yolk? Come on. I'm, I'm on the egg. You're gonna... Alan's you're, like, you're gonna jump from something into the fire, man. Oh, uh, a frying pan. Oh, yeah. right. I, I had a frying pan. Yeah, you're frying up some, some I, eggs or something? I, yeah. yeah that, that, that's where the eggs came not enough. What that's happened really after that, Alan? What, what else caused you... Hey, what are you guys doing over there? Just you're what? being awfully what? quiet. Just just what what doing doing just hey, who's on... Who's on Oh, that's that soft serve, I buddy. Just, Come I on. What, what else were you doing? What else were you? You keep leaning. Well, I'm trying to look behind. Uh, oh, I'm trying to look over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, what were you doing? Uh, I I have a lot of clues. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I hear you're a very interesting person, I but was, I do not believe it, Alan. I was playing field yeah, hockey. What are you guys sort of doing? Lacrosse. Yeah, 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 yeah. lacrosse? You're playing hockey? Uh, yeah, field hockey. You're yeah. all right. Lacrosse, all right. Basket, yeah, yeah, lacrosse. yeah, yeah. But that's not enough to get you off the hook. I gotta right. know where you were, Alan. I was. Yeah. Uh, what? I was what? at I was at church praying. Yeah. <laughs> praying. I find that highly unbelievable, Alan. Here's the steeple. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's the steeple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what are you guys doing? That is not working at McDonald's. You're breaking all the rules. You guys. Yeah. Why did you see the burgers? Softer. Alan, where were you, man? I was uh, photogra photographing modern art. <laughs> um, that's very interesting too, but I don't buy it. That's that's not going to make you late for work. Uh, you should Where buy were it. you? I was... I was far away from here. Oh, 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 I was uh, in Italy. You were in Italy? Yeah, at a uh, leaning tower of pizza. <laughs> Put it all together for me. What made you late for work? So first I grabbed the frying pan. Yeah. And then I forgot the second part. Oh, I was playing field hockey, slash <laughs> lacrosse, yeah. ice hockey, not quite sure which one. And in Italy, you know, because they're big uh, hockey fans at the Leaning Tower of Pisa. All right, Alan, you can keep your job. Thank you so much. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Okay, that's our, our next game is going to be for Jennifer, Chloe, Mitch and Rich, we are going to do a round of dignitaries. So I'll throw things over to our host, Jennifer. Come on in and sit down. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us today on Spotlight on the Specialists. Um, today, I'm your host, Professor Ross Haversheimer Schmichelson. And I'm just so glad to welcome you to this airing. Um, <laughs> while we let them get settled, Let's look here, and these two dignitaries are from, wow, I can't read my assistant's handwriting. Could you please remind me where these guys are from? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Our special guest from Bulgaria, and they are specialists in, wow, she needs to go to handwriting school. I need some help. What are they specialists in? Terminology.
going to take questions from the audience. This is a very special episode today. So who has a question for these two special dignitaries on necromancia? <laughs> <laughs> How long is too long for them to be dead before you bring them back? Okay, excellent question, one we get from viewers all the time. How long is too long to leave them for dead before you can bring them back? Ventriloquist camp, but as it always happens, I threw my back out the first day. Uh oh, you throw it like throwing your voice, I get it. Yeah, it's right. Dear mom and dad, <laughs> <laughs> does this seem creepy to you? <laughs> Are you finally going to be proud of me? <laughs> Dear mom, I now understand what dad says, speaking out of the side of your face. <laughs> Hey, Grandma, everyone at Ventriloquist Camp's a bunch of dummies. Ah. <laughs> Grandma, I'm really freaked out. The dummy they gave me at Ventriloquist Camp looks just like you. <laughs> uh. Dear Mom and Dad, 
I'm not sure what's going on, but I feel like I have no voice here. Uh. <laughs> Dear Mom and Dad, I'm a little concerned about Ben Quilter's uh, camp. Can't even say it. The counselor keeps sticking his hands up my ass and what my lips are. Whoa. <laughs> Dear Mom and Dad, I don't really appreciate that you sent me here at the camp of ventriloquy. I will not be making any money in this career. <laughs> You're on bed. I bet you can't see the puppets in moving. <laughs> Dear mom and dad, I know I said I wanted to be a proctologist. <laughs> is very revealing. I, I learned you guys were married, you know, way too soon for me to actually have been born in wedlock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to my wonderful wife, it's calculus, not calcul you. <laughs> <laughs> to your mom and dad, math camp is great. The pie goes on forever. <laughs> But, uh, things just don't add up. Oh. <laughs> Your mom and dad, fuck calculus. <laughs> Aunt Betty, I, I keep looking for all my cosines here, but I don't see any of the family. <laughs> Dear mom and dad, my reality's been expanded because pi r squared. <laughs> Dear dad, you'll be proud. I'm still trying to figure out all the angles. Uh, I'm pretty over math camp. A squared plus B squared equals see you later. Uh, dear mom and dad, I've met a girlfriend. We're asthmatotic who we've almost become asymmetric. Uh, dear mom and dad, 80085. And finally, could I get a suggestion for a child's game? Parcheesy. Parcheesy camp. Good luck. <laughs> Dear mom and dad, Yahtzee! <laughs> I was going to make a funny joke here, but it was going to be too parts easy. <laughs> <laughs> mom and dad, parts easy cap. It's not good. Uh. <laughs> Dear mom and dad, why did you send me to this camp? I mean, might as well send me to lap camp. They're both dead. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Dads, all my friends are in Monopoly camp this summer, and I'm stuck here. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Any camp at all, just... Space camp. Space camp. Dear Dads, I'm just here for the ice cream. <laughs> dear, dear Mom and Dad, let the wrong camp. This is spacey camp. <laughs> Dear mom and dad, the fellow campers locked me out. I'm breathless. <laughs> Dear mom and dad, I know I need to lose weight, but I, I feel weightless here. <laughs> Dear family, in total, uh, the bully here really keeps beating me up, and every day I see stars. <laughs> Dear mom and dad, I feel under-equipped for this. Everybody else has got, like, doctors and masters. I, I barely graduated from high school. Dear Mom and Dad, I must explain the gravity of this situation. <laughs> Dear Grandma, I know you hate me, but did you really want to send me to another planet? Oh. Um, dear Mom and Dad, this is not what I meant when I said I needed some space. <laughs> <laughs> dear Mom and Dad, it's great at space camp. You know, the final frontier. <laughs> Dear Mom and Dad, all the buttons are written in Russian. Please help. <laughs> Dear Mom and Dad, Space Camp's great. It's got a great bar. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Uncle Bob, they 
said we could be the first to colonize Mars. Uh, dear NASA, Pluto's a planet! <laughs>